Um, but now we're looking at AI software. So everyone is focused on, on hardware right now and NVIDIA being the winner. And we think, yes, that's still a great company. It's a great opportunity. But from a valuation standpoint, I mean, it's trading upwards of 40 times price to sales. Whereas some of these AI software names that we're focused on are trading in the, the mid to high single digit in terms of price to sale. So I'll give you a few All examples. Right. Twil Twilio, uh, you know, that is a company that's in you know our top 10 holdings. It has data on trillions of interactions between businesses and consumers. So we think that the company is going to be a huge beneficiary of the AI software movement. And um, Teladoc is another example. You know, this is probably, they have the best shot at becoming the backbone of the healthcare information in the US. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's doctors, uh, you know, on, on Teladoc see electronic health records of patients. Now the company is gathering information at a rapid pace. They have that proprietary data. And now Teladoc models could be in the future giving doctors recommendations on the best course of treatment. Okay, so I get it, Renato. You're preferring to play the whole AI theme uh, through the software side, and of course, uh, it's algos. That's the secret sauce in AI, right? But back to the hardware you mentioned, uh, you like NVIDIA uh, on the hardware side. Do you like it as much as UBS? That is plus 20% on the side from here, because I mean, at these levels, these valuations, uh, even though the stock is still pretty much on fire, a lot of people are getting very nervous. Yeah, so our valuation work that we do um, and our hurdle rate of return over a five-year period is we're looking to achieve um, a 15% annualized return in a stock that we add to the portfolio. So based on our model, we think we're, we're close to that on NVIDIA over a five-year time horizon. However, when you look at some of these AI uh, software plays, we see that it, it exceeds that in terms of valuation. So we want to be invested in those names. The way we think about it, a lot of the research that we've done, and we're actually going to release a, a paper on this topic um, early next week, is we see that for every dollar spent on hardware, AI hardware, like NVIDIA, GPUs, um, $8 could be pulled through in terms of AI software. So we want to focus on that piece uh, that no one's really paying attention to because you know you can sell GPUs all you want, uh, but obviously you need to create value using them in terms of AI training models and products. So we want to see, you know, we're trying to uncover who are best positioned to be the beneficiaries of that. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.